Hello there guys, today I'm here with a review of the Mobi Folders app by Telliger Software Solutions and this is just going to be my full review and basically I've been using it for the past week now and I just kind of want to give my thoughts um, on this app itself. It's like a PDF viewer, you can like edit, etc. Um, work with PDFs and I just want to thank um, them for sending this app out to me I guess you could say um, but yeah uh, let's just get right into this review so right here is the app icon itself it's basically just like an orange icon with um, a little folder on the top it just looks pretty good and definitely blends with all the other iOS 7 apps out there now if we ever so go right into the app here we can see that we are greeted um, with a welcome to mobile folder app so I did uninstall this and reinstalled it so that you guys could kind of get a feel of what it's like to open it for the first time so they are asking if I want to open an introduction as you can see here but obviously I'm not gonna need to do that because I've been using this app for quite a while now so Let's just hit cancel there. So here is the app. Now it does have a very, very flat theme. Everything just looks like it incorporates very well with the iOS theme we are all used to. And it has all these cool, I guess you could say folders on this side right here. So basically we have desktop, job, private, vacation, photos, videos, audiobooks, um, interesting reminders, and then you can import um, ones that you imported. And it's all just organized and you can really keep your PDFs, whether you're at school, work, or anything like that, you can keep them all in one area, in one folder, and everything just stays very organized. All right, so over here at the top corner here, we have our settings little button there so if we go into that it brings us to um, this section of it right here so as we can see we can password protect mobi folders that is just awesome because you if you have private documents or just stuff you don't want to show um, you can definitely put a passcode on it which is a great feature and I know I could definitely use it sometimes um, for YouTube stuff etc you know the deal but um, yeah and it also has some different like things you can change uh, as like font names you can they have a few font fonts not a lot which is kind of depressing but hey what are you gonna do and then they also you can really do any font size they let you type it in as you can see um, and then we also have the bottom you can do like iOS viewer or Mobi folders viewer you want to set that to Mobi folders viewer if you're gonna be using this app um, and then they have a different colors which is pretty awesome you can do mint pink so basically it'll change the color of the screen from like warm I don't know if you guys can see that probably not but it really just changes the color of the screen so it's better to view it in like different situations um, and then you also have import settings so you know um, you can do it with a passcode etc and then they have server ports and then you have about and this is um, just about the stuff and rating the app etc and then um, it has some credits so this is these are just people that um, <laughs> helped build the app so let's get right back into the main part of the app here okay so as we can see here we have this little little three bars like you could say on this side so basically it'll let you sort it by name by file type by date by file size which also keeps everything organized and then you can also i found out delete all the different like i don't know, I guess folders and pdf things uh if you guys see raindrops on the screen it's kind of starting to rain out so but yeah that's pretty cool and you can also add accounts so if you want to add like um uh Google Drive account, um, a Dropbox account, SkyDrive, Windows, etc. I'm going to go ahead here and add my Google Drive account. Okay, so I'm signed into my account here, so I'm just going to hit accept. And here we go. It sets up very easily, and there we go. And we hit save. And what it should start to do is it should start to process and get some files and folders from my Google Drive. So, as you can see here, I have some YouTube stuff that I was working on. Um, it brings up all your files. So, let's see if I can get a file here. Alright. Alright, so this one imported, as you can see here, this one imported, it's my um, thing for DECA. Uh, I was working on a document for my teacher. So, let's just go right into that here. And look, it shows up. That's pretty, pretty cool. And it shows up pretty accurate. Um, things seem to be a little bit off. Uh, a little bit off from how I actually did it, but it's not bad. I know this is all in order right here. So, yeah, you can zoom in, etc. 
pretty cool. It zooms in very smoothly. No problems with that, as you can see here. And it also displays images, which is also cool. Um, but you can also, there's tons of different things you can do. Um, you can obviously open it in pages, you can open it in Word, more, etc. But yeah, it just allows you to view documents, read them, etc. Um, and I really think it depends on the type of file it is. I mean, it does actually read a lot of files, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Alright, so here I am in my web browser here um, with a book that I was reading in English class. So let's say I'm in English class and I want to read a book. Um, this is a PDF. So basically when you're in the file here, you just want to tap on the screen and you want to go to open in. And then you want to go to open in Mobi folders. And it opens instantaneously and brings up your book right away. And as you can see, I have two open here, which is pretty cool. It lets you open multiple at a time. You can switch in and out. Um, but let's just go to this one right here. And it actually allows me to do a bunch and a bunch of different things. So as you can see here, it has undo, um, it has auto rotate on and off and you have all these editor options right here it's pretty pretty cool you, it allows you to draw it allows you to add text boxes all this kind of stuff that you wouldn't think that you could do uh you couldn't do normally in ibooks or anything like that really um but yeah you could add voice things like let's say you, you're not good at reading you want to add voice uh, as notes it allows you to do that which is pretty cool so if i get the writing pencil here it will actually allow me to write on the page and circle where letters, quotes, anything that you'd want to circle, um, it allows you to do, and it just allows you to write anywhere, um, which is pretty awesome. It allows you to go down, which is a good feature. Um, pretty cool, and then when you hit done, it just saves actually onto the PDF itself, and it will save, and you, when you're done reading the book, or it's done with the class, you can actually go back and do it the next day. It'll save right where it is. Um, then you also have a camera feature here, which is pretty cool. I found this pretty cool, so if you want to take a picture of something, or an artifact, so if we take a selfie here, be like, Ey. okay. And there we go, I took a selfie, and I can actually take this high quality, put it right into the PDF, wherever the heck I want it to, and just, you know, put it in there, and tap done, and it will actually go right in the image, as you can see there, my selfie is in the book called Night, um, that I just recently read in English, I would definitely check it out guys, it's an awesome book, um, but yeah, and it just gives you all these different types of things you can do, text boxes, you can do comments, you can highlight, it's just really cool, and it actually allows you to read it, it puts it in this full view, um, while you are doing it, which is pretty awesome, but yeah, that's just some of the edit, editing things you can do and stuff like that. Alright guys, so that is going to be about it for this review of the Mobi Folders app from Telliger. Um, it's a really good app, and as you can see, it's loaded, loaded, loaded with features that you can use um, on your iPad. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Hold on guys. This app is only $5. That is just insane. Um, it's like two coffees or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's just really cheap, and I would definitely, definitely recommend it to anybody. Um, I'll definitely be using this myself in class. Um, it might be a lifesaver, but um, yeah, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. I really, 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 really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this, I guess you could say, um, review of the app. And yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Definitely like, comment, I'll answer any questions, anything really, um, always replying. And definitely subscribe to my channel for more awesome, 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 awesome videos. And that's going to be about it. Smile because you and technology are amazing, and peace out!